मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू फाइन एंड वेल एट योर होम स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू न्यू दैट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड फोर नंबर ऑफ चैप्टर्स इन ज्योग्राफी नंबर वन चैप्टर क्लाइमेट नंबर सेकेंड चैप्टर सॉइल रिसोर्सेस नंबर थर्ड चैप्टर नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड नंबर फोर चैप्टर वॉटर रिसोर्सेज इंक्लूडेड विद द मैप वर्क एंड स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू न्यू दैट Our first term examination begins from 10th of August 2020. So, students, we are going to revise the four chapters that are coming in the first term examination. From today, now I take the chapter number one, climate, for the revision work. So, now in this chapter, we are going to cover few important topics in the climate chapter that are given. now the topics are the distribution of temperature then after that rainfall then after that winds in summer and winter and factors affecting the climate of the area monsoon and its mechanism after that we also going to cover the four seasons of our country india four seasons of our country india like the summer season monsoon season winter season and the retreating monsoon season so now before starting this chapter now students all of you see or watch carefully the first paragraph of this chapter the first paragraph of this chapter is the introduction part of this chapter now through this uh, paragraph we are going to understand about what type of climate that is found in our country india this question is also asked in the board question paper what type of monsoon found in our country india and the answer is the tropical monsoon type of climate is found in our country india okay students now we are coming the first point of this chapter and the first point of this chapter is the regional variation regional variation means that now students all of you very well know about that and see that the different types of climatic condition present in our country india for example like if we are going to compare the uh, climatic condition of kerala with the punjab so now you have found that the kerala have a moderate type of climatic condition and the punjab have a tropical monsoon type of climatic condition why the difference presence between the kerala and the punjab so now students all of you know that the kerala is situated near the sea and influence of the sea breeze the lots of moisture kerala receive and due to the lots of moisture so the always the kerala temperature is always same in the winter season and in the summer season and the punjab that is present in the continental part of our country india so now all of you see that the temperature always is changing in the punjab like in summer where the temperature rise up 45 degree celsius 42 degree celsius in winter in the punjab now 5 degree celsius or 10 degree celsius is like that now you see that the variation the regional variation that is present in our country india now the next point that we are coming the next point is the temperature so temperature is also in our country india you found that the different types of temperature are present in our country india so now in this paragraph when you see the book so that is given 1 2 3 4 and 5 the five points are given that is showing the different types of temperature condition in our country india the first paragraph of this temperature the first point of this temperature is given the compare between the dras and kargil to rajasthan so now you see that in rajasthan we are comparing the dras kargil that is present in jammu and kashmir with the rajasthan jaisalmer in the month of may and june when we are going to compare these two areas 
to their cells. So now you find that the in the Rajasthan the temperature recorded in the month of May June near about 50 degrees Celsius, and in the Dras Kargal the temperature recorded minus 40 degrees Celsius. So why this variation is pre present uh, in these two places? Because the Dras and Kargil is situated on a high altitude and all of you know, is, uh, all of you very well know the students when we are climbing on the mountains or high altitude so always the temperature decreases and when we are in the part of the Rajasthan so now you see that most of the part of the Rajasthan if we, we are in the western part of the, the Jaisalmer is situated in the western part of the Rajasthan and it is the desert area and here the lack of moisture, lack of vegetation so due to the lackness of the moisture and the vegetation so suddenly the temperature increases in this area so when the summer season, so officially in the summer season the temperatures are high but in the Rajasthan due to the lack of temperature and the moisture so the temperature become high then after that, the next point is given the Kerala which compared with the Punjab so all of you know that the Kerala is a the Kerala is situated in a maritime of climatic condition and the Punjab is situated in the continental type of condition and we also write the another reason for that and what is the another reason? so another reason is that Kerala is near to the sea and Punjab is far away from the sea because Kerala have a moderate type of climatic condition and Punjab have not a moderate type of uh, climatic condition because it is far away from the sea next point now you see that the Malabar coast and the other so that is the main differences that we have explained in this paragraph now the next point and the next point is the factors affecting the climate of India. It is also become the important point. Why it is become the important point? So now all of you understand. So when you turn over the page, so in the next page, now you see that the number one point is the Himalayas. So Himalaya is also become a factor. How the Himalaya become the factor? Because Himalaya act like a barrier. In class 9 also all of you uh, read about the Himalaya. Himalaya work or act like a barrier. He stop the cold breezes that are coming from the Siberia part or the Siberian winds. And he also barricade the monsoon winds in our country India. So he also become an important factor for the climate in our country India. Next the monsoon winds. So now the monsoon winds that help us to bring the rainfall in our country India. So due to the monsoon winds our country receive the maximum rainfall in our country India. Now next point the latitude. Latitude is an imaginary line that you read in class 9. So now the latitude means in this chapter the tropic of cancer line that is passing through the middle of our country India. The tropic of cancer line that is passing through the middle of our country India and this line is received the uh, vertical sun rays in this part the uh, uh, India country received the vertical, vertical sun rays of the place. Now next point the varied relief features so all of you students uh, very well know about that in our country India the different types of relief features are present what is the relief features like the desert like the mountains like the plateau like the plains like the coastal areas so these are become the relief features now next point the altitude so when you read the altitude, so then you get the answer why the Dras Kargil have the low temperature and why the uh, Rajasthan Jaisal may have the high temperature. Now altitude. So altitude means the 1 degree Celsius become decreased when you rise up on the mountains or on the high altitude like the 166 meter. Now next, the influence of the surrounding sea. Influence of the surrounding sea means 
those places are near the sea so they receive the lots of moisture and due to the lots of moisture always the climatic condition become the moderate type of climate climatic condition moderate type of climatic condition means like the not too much hot or not too much cold now the next point the western disturbance now the next factor is the western disturbance so now in india when the uh, month of january so now the rainfall is received in the northern part of our country india especially like in uh, haryana punjab western uttar pradesh and the jammu and kashmir so the rainfall that is received in this part in the month of january it is due to the western disturbance and it helps for the crop of like apple in jammu and kashmir and especially this especially wheat crop that are growing in the month of uh, january in the part of the rajasthan punjab and haryana it helps the rainfall next point is the jet stream so jet stream is a sea wave that are helps to bring the monsoon in our country india now next point is the distance from the sea distance from the sea means like if we are near the sea so we have the moderate type of the climatic condition if we are far away from the sea so we have the different types of climatic condition sometimes we feel the cold and after a regular interval the next season will come so now this types of situations are always present so now next video we are going to understand about the different types of seasons that are found in our country india and about the monsoon winds thank you